you are conducting a left tailed test of a claim about a population mean when sigma is unknown with a sample size of 31. If alpha equals 0 0.005, find the critical value to two decimal places. Okay, so we're doing a test for a uh, mean that's left tailed. So our critical value is going to be negative. And since there's only one tail, alpha is going to be entirely contained on that side. So in order to find this, I'm going to use that 0 0.005 as my left area. The only thing is, I don't know if I should be finding a, a t-score or a z-score unless I look at what type of test it is. It's a test about a claim for a population mean when sigma is unknown. So when sigma is unknown, we use the t-distribution. And so using Excel, I can find t by using t.inv for inverse and then put in the left area and the degrees of freedom and uh, that's it. That's all we need. So the left area will be 0 0.005. The degrees of freedom will be n minus 1. So they've said n is 31 here. So I'm going to use 30 degrees of freedom. So to find my answer, let's use Excel. And here's my critical value here. I'm using a t distribution. And it's going to be negative since it's on the left side. And the value will be found using t dot inverse with the uh, probability of 0 0.005 to the left and degrees of freedom 30. So that'll be my answer. Let's go ahead and put it in. Now here's another example where we're conducting a two-tailed test of a claim about a population mean when sigma is unknown with a sample size of 37. But this time it's a two-tailed test. So what changes here? Here, now I'm going to have a plus and a minus. And the um, significance level will be split up into two tails, right? So let's see, what was that significance level again? 0 0.05 for this example instead of 0 0.005. So we have to change this to 0 0.05. And since it's a two-tailed test, actually, I'm going to have to divide that in half. So it'll actually be 0 0.025 on each side. So now, to find the absolute value of my critical value, I can use the left area of 0 0.025. It'll give me the negative answer. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do absolute value of t dot inverse with 0 0.025 area to the left and what was my sample size 37 so i'll have 36 degrees of freedom here and i put the absolute value function around this so that it'll just be positive so i know i'm going to have plus or minus plus and minus rather 2.028 so it says to find the positive critical value. So I just want to make sure to put in the positive version of this. Here we are conducting a right-tailed test of a claim about a population mean when sigma is known. So there's a couple of curveballs here. It's a right-tailed test, and sigma is known. So if sigma is known, we're using the Z distribution. And since it's a right-tailed test, I know that my critical value will be positive, and I will be uh, using I will be using norm dot inv with the entire area all on one side. Now, the area that I was given in this problem, the significance level is 0 0.01. So 0 0.01 on the right would mean there's 0 0.99 on the left. So I can either use 0 0.01 and do the absolute value again, or I can do 0 0.99, which is 1 minus 0 0.01. So either way is fine. And then the mean for standard deviation, or I meant to say, sorry, the mean for the 
z scores is always zero and the standard deviation is always one. So now we have our answer of 2.326. What about a two-tailed test of a claim about a population mean when sigma is known? So now we're two tails with sigma known and the significance level is 0 0.05. So let's put this in here, 0 0.05, and it's what, two-tailed? Two-tailed, so let's see if I can share my screen here, make it a little easier going back and forth. Uh, the, uh, it's two-tailed, so I'm gonna have to split that area up into two, and then my z-score, since sigma is known, will be plus and minus plus and minus it doesn't like that but let's put a little apostrophe in front of it okay and then we'll do norm dot inv the area to the left here comma zero for the mean one for the standard deviation and that gives me a negative answer now I can put the absolute value function around this or I can just type in the positive version 1.96 all right and then we're moving on to a different type of question which we'll do in a separate video